It's not unusual for business owners to get direct inbound inquiries about selling their business, be that from a strategic buyer or from a financial buyer. It can be very tempting to just go with that and not have to run a broader process and not hire an advisor. And while that can occasionally work, more often times than not, it's not an ideal situation. Realistically, you can't control a process while you're also running a business. So we highly advise uh, business owners to engage an advisor to understand the broader market. And that doesn't mean that you don't have continued dialogue with that one buyer, especially if you believe it's a very good and viable buyer for your business. It's still important though to evaluate other potential buyers. Creating competition will keep that original buyer honest and allows you more leverage in negotiating a transaction. It also allows you to do a market test. Is the value being proposed by that buyer fair? Or could you get more money from another buyer or even better terms? It's not just about the value, it's also about the terms and the structure of the deal and what it means for your employees. So it's really important to evaluate external opportunities with other buyers as opposed to just running with one buyer. Confidentiality is a very important component of any sale. It can be concerning for business owners that it might leak into the market that they're contemplating a sale, and what if competitors try to use that as a leverage point to take business away or to take market share. If you hire an advisor, they can help you think through how to handle confidentiality and limit the potential risk of exposure for your business. That could mean going to a smaller, more narrow group of potential buyers. It could also mean having conversations on a no-names basis very early on where your advisors can be that buffer and they can evaluate potential buyer interest before disclosing the actual name of the company that's looking to sell.